This video is brought to you by Zently. Zently is a must have application if you're renting an apartment right now. It saves you time by allowing you to pay your rent through an iPhone application. It allows you to split shared bills with your friends, pay rent with your roommate, and even send fix it requests to your landlord through the application. So Zently right now is doing an iPhone giveaway for people who download the app and pay their first month's rent through the app. You'll automatically be entered to win a brand new iPhone 7. So it's a pretty good deal. All you have to do is pay your rent like you normally would, and now you're entered to win a brand new iPhone 7. So Zently is available in the description down below. Go ahead and check it out. Hey guys, what's going on today? I have some pretty interesting leaks regarding the iPhone 8. More importantly, the face scanner that's gonna be on the next iPhone. So this is pretty exciting. Inside the code of the HomePod firmware, uh, some developer on Twitter found these uh, pieces of code and uh, from this we can understand that uh, pretty much the next iPhone will have an infrared face ID scanner or whatever they choose to call it. So it's pretty cool and kind of weird that Apple would uh, leak their own uh, big product reveal uh, inside a HomePod firmware. Why they would put it inside that firmware, we don't know. Uh, but anyway, we get to look at these leaks now and uh, we get to know what will be in the next iPhone. So I have these photos here and uh, we can look at these and uh, try to understand what is within uh, the code to understand what uh, the feature will be. So the first one here is a simple line of code, just a simple string, I think it's called. Uh, com.apple.power.camera.frontinfrared.activeDuration. So this is probably talking about the duration uh, of the front infrared sensor, how long it's gonna be active for, uh, maybe when it's scanning your face to unlock your phone, or maybe even for an Apple Pay payment, uh, just how long it's gonna be active uh, to scan your face to unlock your phone. So why would Apple put the phrase front infrared uh, in a piece of code if it wouldn't be on the next iPhone? I don't know. This pretty much confirms that the next iPhone will have a front infrared sensor. Uh, the next one here, uh, this one is actually kind of funny. It's within a whole bunch of folders uh, inside mechanism plugins. If I zoom in here, you can see we have uh, a couple ones below that say touch ID bundle, uh, push button bundle and passcode bundle. But what I find funny is up here we have hide underscore uh, mechanism Perl bundle. Uh, Perl, if you don't know, is actually what Apple is using as a code name uh, for their face scanner that'll be on the next iPhone. So I find this really funny. I'm guessing one of the engineers at Apple actually put the word hide on the name of this. Uh, so if people were digging through this firmware, uh, they wouldn't know that uh, the Perl bundle would be in here, which is the face scanner. But unfortunately, I guess they didn't do a very good job at hiding it because it is right here in the mechanism plugins folder. So kind of funny here, this again confirms that there will be a face scanner on the iPhone 8. So the next image here, it looks like we have some stuff about face geometry. So if we go over here, face geometry with device, and then this one, eyes filled, mouth filled, uh, film mesh. I don't really know what this means, uh, possibly different uh, advanced ways of scanning your face, like eyes filled, mouth filled. Uh, this uh, infrared sensor is said to be very advanced on the next iPhone. So like it says here, uh, it might be able to detect if your eyes are filled, whatever the hell that means, or if your mouth is filled. So very different facial expressions and different variations of people's faces. It'll be able to uh, scan that with a lot of detail. And then this last one here confirms that Apple Pay will also be coming uh, with the face scanning on the iPhone 8. We don't know if it'll be available out of the box because one issue is the banks and the credit unions and stuff through Apple Pay um, don't know if they can trust the face scanning yet because they trust Touch ID on the iPhone for fingerprints, but they don't know if they can trust the face scanning. So this might not be available out of the box, but Apple is definitely leaving uh, all doors unlocked uh, in regards to maybe using face scanning for Apple Pay. So if we zoom in here to the highlighted area, you can see here Passbook. That's kind of funny, Apple is still calling it Passbook back from the iOS 7 days. Uh, Passbook payment, contactless interface, and then right here, Perl.FieldDetect. So again, when we see that Perl code, we know that that is Apple's uh, code for the face scanning. Uh, this, this pretty much confirms that because there is a line of code that says Passbook and payment and contactless interface, uh, and then we see the, the code name Perl there, uh, this pretty much confirms that uh, Apple Pay will be coming uh, sometime, hopefully, with the iPhone 8 with face scanning. 
So those are the four major uh, pieces of proof that I was able to find. There are a couple more, but they're not as interesting. Uh, anyway, tell me what you think about this in the comments down below. Are you excited for the iPhone 8? Are you gonna use the face scanner or do you just prefer Touch ID? Anyway, tell me in the comments down below. Thank you for watching. My name is Mike and I'll see you in the next one.